Hey. <coughs> this time I'm gonna use Ogawa piston for my spare motor. Then I will show you how to put the piston rings on piston. First, oil expander. Okay. The next oil ring lower. All right, and we're back here oh. at Okiabuki Ski and Snowboard Park, and James Tang now in the final moments of getting on to the flatbed here. The car had completely locked up the rear end. It was in a really precarious position where the truck couldn't get to it at the angle, so they had to bring in some extra equipment to lift it off the ground. So I don't imagine, Ryan, that he's going to make his second pass, but who knows for sure as uh, then this is the that, uh, second ring. The track staff still working on the vehicle, getting it up on the flatbed. Yeah, they got some Kojaks under the rear wheels. They had to straighten the car out because as they were dragging it up there, being... Uh, locked up in the rear end and actually slid down the hill sideways, so trying to get it uh, up onto the truck then without damaging it as well, which is always kind of important. You don't want to tear Make sure that you're getting it up there, does a but it looks like retire. they're slowly getting to the point the where they can get it up there. So, yes. Ryan, so far we've got three guys in the top 16. We've got Masuyama, Amagai, Nian. Looks like it'll probably be gray. Then we've got Mad yeah, Mike with, with a buy, so that moves him into the top 16. Ichi Inagi and Nozawa, Yanaguida with a buy run, and Inome versus Yamamoto. All strong drivers on the left-hand side of the bracket. The left-hand side of the bracket seems to be a, a very, very tough bracket in terms of the championship contenders. But you have on the right-hand side of the bracket Fukada and Minowa uh, that could potentially contend on the right-hand side of the bracket. And um, also Yamashita. That has well in the past. Is there anything that sticks out to you, like Miyoshi, who's done well in qualifying, that this track?